lunch today we're trying Las Palmas in uh, Golden, Colorado. It is about a uh, half an hour from Denver, uh, about 10 minutes from the Red Rock Amphitheater that we were at. Yeah, I know um, probably it's not a, not that usual that Asian people love Mexican food, but I grew up eating a lot of Mexican food. So I'm uh, really excited to see what kind of um, Mexican food Las Palmas will have. And I'm excited to get something to eat. Uh, we're seated at Las Palmas. Um, yeah, we ordered some things on the menu. They have a really wide selection of Mexican dishes, burritos, flautas, tortas, a lot of different things. Yeah, they even give uh, free chips and salsa. Uh, the salsa, salsa is really spicy. I'm not really a big fan of that. Yeah, so we're waiting for our order. Yeah, the chips are good. <laughs> nice and fresh. Um, not too salty. But yeah, so far so good. So far I like Las Palmas. Uh, yay, our food came. Uh, yeah, so yeah, my husband got a kind of meat trio thing over there. Uh, looks like some steak and chicken and uh, fried shrimp and beans. Got some tortillas. So yeah, it was kind of like a fajitas mix. Yeah, it was looking really good. And um, I got a chicken, beans, and rice burrito. I'm so excited to try this. I'm so hungry. All right, time to try this burrito. <laughs> the chicken is good. Um, it's nicely seasoned. Um, didn't really get to try the rice and beans in that bite. It was all chicken. Um, yeah, the chicken is seasoned well. It tastes great. Um, yeah, it's grilled nicely. So let's try some rice and beans next. Ready to go. Yep, the burrito is good. Um, everything is hot and fresh. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with my choice. I'm definitely going to um, enjoy this burrito. Finished our lunch at Las Palmas. So here's a little review of the place. Um, yeah, both of our dishes were actually really good. Um, yeah, my husband's dish with a meat trio of steak and grilled chicken and fried shrimp was really good. Um, he said it was really well seasoned. Uh, portion was actually really huge. And um, yeah, he said it tastes like home cooking. Yeah, mine tasted the same. Uh, well seasoned. Uh, it tasted like home cooked. Didn't taste oily or greasy at all. Tastes like what you might find in Mexico, something very authentic. So yeah, I definitely recommend uh, going to Las Palmas if you're ever uh, by Red Rock Amphitheater. All right, well, we're gonna head over to downtown now. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much. See you later. over to Union Station. Um, Union Station is the main transportation hub for Denver. Uh, here you'll be able to take the trains to other parts of Denver as well as to other cities in the U.S. Um, a lot of cities have a Union Station uh, including Los Angeles. Walked inside of Union Station. It's really beautiful in here. There's a lot of restaurants to eat, places to sit, and a lot of cute shops too. Um, so this was definitely worth checking out and coming inside. Uh, 
we're now at Laramore Square. Um, yeah, at nighttime, this whole area is lit up with pretty lights, and it's a really nice area to walk around. Unfortunately, right now it's starting to rain. Well, at least the weather held up for us most of the day. But yeah, we're gonna take a walk around now. place here called the uh, dairy block um, yeah so the dairy block looks like a, a little indoor marketplace with a lot of different vendors selling different goods um, they have little restaurants and uh, there's a bakery of fresh baked goods um, there is also um, different fast food places that are independently owned yeah it's a pretty good place to find uh, different types of food and also fresh products like cheeses and meats. Um, yeah, I really like uh, markets like this because they have so much variety of things to see and things to eat. Um, yeah, it's too bad we're not very hungry right now though, so uh, maybe next time. So we decided to go to the Denver Aquarium downtown. It's just next to um, Glitch Park theme park, but since it's not a weekend and it's raining, uh, Glitch theme park is not open today. So we're going to the aquarium. Yeah, some of my favorite things to do actually are museums, things like aquariums and zoos. So I'm really excited. Um, been to a few aquariums. Um, like the one at New Orleans I've been to and um, the one in San Francisco. So yeah, let's go inside. It's starting to rain again. This room is so beautiful. This is one of my favorite parts of going to aquariums. Uh, being here makes you feel like you're underwater with the fish. Uh, it's so pretty. Oh, look, there's an eel and stingrays. Yeah, there's so many different species of fish and sea life that I didn't know about until I came to this aquarium. So the Denver Aquarium is definitely worth checking out. Oh, sea stars and sea urchins. Yeah, they're so colorful in there. Um, aquariums really do fascinate me and I really could stay here all day actually. Just left the aquarium. Um, yeah, we were there about an hour. Yeah, it's pretty big. Um, there were some pretty cool fish to see. I couldn't believe how big some of those fish were inside and how many sharks and um, rays they had. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it's actually pretty cold in Denver now. Um, after that rain, it definitely cooled down and it's chilly. So much colder than Florida. I uh, kind of miss my Florida heat right now. Yeah, it costs about $25 per person, like for adults, and it does cost $8 for parking. So keep that in mind if you guys decide to come here. Um, but yeah, if you guys like aquariums, I would say you would really enjoy 
the um, aquarium in downtown Denver. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Um, join me next week as we try more food in Denver. Um, as always, if you like what you see, um, hit, the, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment. Yeah, see you guys uh, next week.